tonight that I believe is related to the event management staff here, and I think the board should be aware of how staff that the board hires and oversees for the performance of this hearing are treating people who are participating in the hearing. Yesterday during the day, a member of event management staff approached Justin Zor and informed her that she was not allowed to sleep in her van in the parking lot overnight. Ms. Mazur does not have a van. When I went out to the parking lot at the end of the day, my van had been towed from the parking lot. My van was lawfully parked in the pub parking lot designated for public parking for this hearing. There was no reason for it to be towed. The van was not, in fact, left here overnight, which I can attest to because I drove it away after the hearing last night. Furthermore, the parking lot does not appear to have any signs indicating that unauthorized vehicles will be towed or indicating who the towing company is to contact if your vehicle has been towed, which should be required under Iowa law if I understand that correctly. Now, part of the reason this is particularly important is because my van is not merely a van, it is a unique vehicle. It is, in fact, a mobile office that I have purchased for the purpose of being able to travel around the state and have confidential client meetings anywhere I have to meet with clients, including venues such as this where there is no meeting room available for me to have confidential meeting rooms with clients. Last night, because my van and my office had been towed, I had to spend hours trying to retrieve my van I had to spend money on a tow. I had to spend money on a hotel room that I should not have had to spend money on. And in the meantime, at eight o'clock last night, I received a phone call from a landowner who was scheduled to testify today, who just learned about it yesterday and was seeking legal advice. Because I did not have my van and my mobile office with me, I was unable to contact that landowner last night and provide him the advice he requested. Now, the board made mention numerous times yesterday about taking into consideration the interests of the landowners and the time and the effort they are making to attend this hearing. And I am concerned that when event management staff does things like towing a vehicle without even bothering to ask if anyone in the hearing room owns that vehicle, the ultimate person who pays the price for that is not me, it's the clients who are calling me. And unlike all of these other attorneys who are sitting up here in the front two rows, who are probably making a nice billable rate on this hearing, I'm not making a penny. Like the landowners here, I am here on my own time, on my own dime. And they call me at night because they know I'm the person who will answer the phone at 8 o'clock to help them when no one else will. And they know that I'm the person that they can schedule meetings with at 7 o'clock in the morning before the hearing starts to have their last questions answered. There was no one on board staff available to do that. There was no other attorney who can do that, and certainly no other attorney who's be able to do that pro bono for landowners who need assistance. So when events management staff acts irrationally, it impacts the rights of landowners as it relates to this hearing. It is only thanks to the assistance of some local people who I want to mention in particular, for Dodge Mayor, the Honorable Matt Bernich, and Mike Reese and his wife, who own Mid-Iowa Towing Company, that I was able to get my van back in time for a 7 o'clock meeting I had scheduled this morning. In fact, if it weren't for their assistance, I wouldn't have been able to make the start of this meeting, of this hearing today, because their off towing office doesn't open for vehicle retrievals until 10 a.m. At 8 a.m., I apologize. It is only because one of their employees very generously left her home at 9.30 last night after putting her children to sleep to drive me across town and open up their lot at 10 p.m. in order for me to have my van to be able to serve my clients here today. So I just would like the IUD to be aware that actions that are being taken on behalf by people who are running these proceedings 
are directly impacting the rights of the parties. And since the IUD is responsible for the seating, the IUD really needs to make sure to oversee any subcontractors so that they are not improperly influencing how, this, how these parties are uh, affected by the proceedings. Thank you. I think we're ready to proceed with our witness, Mike Bamer.